King Magic, or King Midget, 1955. And that, it, it, the way it is right now is as exactly as it would have come off the assembly line. Oh, nice. I don't remember looking at that. I remember looking at that. <laughs> <laughs> but I was around. Well, and the, if you ever looked, or your boy, brother ever looked in the popular mechanics and saw a kit car, this is what he would have been looking at. Oh. They started out making them, they would sell you the body, oh. but you'd have to come up with your own rear end and engine. Oh, wow. Then they decided to go to a fully developed car, huh. and so they sold them that way from 1946 up to 1969. And where did you get this one? Did this, you put this together? No, I had a gentleman do it for me up in Pennsylvania. Um, these are all new body panels. He has, see, they're still a lot of these around. Really? So he has the license for making the panels that come on this model and on a newer model. And so uh, he talked me into bringing it up there. And so between working on other jobs, he restored this for me. And we took it all the way down to the frame. So every, the only thing that's original on it is the frame itself and the wheels. So Nine so Horse, Wisconsin. What kind of mileage does it get? Guess mileage. Well, it varies depending on who you talk to, but you know, I've heard it said 75 to 80 miles to the gallon. Well, wow, that's pretty good. So do you drive it? You don't drive it on highway. Oh yeah, you can. It's completely uh, yeah. legal. I can drive it around town. I don't I take it on the afraid. expressway. I'd be afraid I'd be run over on the expressway. Yeah, I don't take it on the expressway, yeah, but it's completely legal for any street anywhere. Well, that's pretty much a one-seater unless you're... Uh...